Hi, welcome to my channel. So I'll be showing you what to do when your breast pad or your wadding is not coming again. Okay, I mean when the shiny part of it, this the shiny side has been erased. Okay, so I discovered I have so many of them in my studio, so I decided to make use of them. So now this is the um the part of the bodies I'll be working on. So I went ahead to iron the main in the first interfacing then i mark out the area that i'll be using that i'll be placing the pad okay i i do this why before removing my pattern paper so i'm just using the scissors to make it more visible make sure you mark the parts on the fabric before removing your pattern paper so this is it this is a part i realized like almost um the whole part of it is no longer shining so this is I I make sure I show of the place once again. So we'll be using emi gum to replace the shiny part that is gone. So I went ahead and pick up my emi gum, cut it all to the place that I want. I I I need the gum. You understand? So from the bust point down to my under bust. These are the points that I mark. So I place my emi gum on it and put the interfacing. This is the thick interfacing. Okay. So I make sure it's where it's properly placed. Then I secure with pin in two places. But remember when you are ironing, do not iron on the pin. Avoid the 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 place where the pin is located so that when you're working on sensitive fabric the pin is not going to stain the fabric so i went ahead and iron it and you can see it is properly gone and this is how the gum is going to be it's permanent okay so don't think oh hope it will not remove later or something no it's going to secure it properly so this is it and i went ahead also use it on the other side okay and it's still the same process. It's still the same process. I attach interfacing. So it depends on the kind of use your desired interfacing, whether SD or gum stay, paper stay, anyone you know you're working with. And also figure out where I'm going to place this first. Then I went ahead and fix it accordingly okay so it's a gradual process but it's just a tip that i just found out and it's helping honestly before when i realized my breast pad is not work is not coming again i just trash it but with this method i've learned to make a better use of it without straining it away okay but nevertheless whenever you want to buy always check it out from the store also to make sure every part of it is useful. Okay, so I went ahead and use the iron and you trim out the excess parts. So, and also the third one, we did the same thing. So, this third one, I didn't place it all through because some parts has the gum. Okay, so it's as simple as this. So this is a new trick I found out and it's working and I would like to share with you people also. So I hope you find this helpful. Remember to give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, so trust me, I'll be bringing more tips your way. And feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. And if there's any other way you can, you do yours, let me know, okay? So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.